Hi, my name is Douglas Hubler. I'm a software developer here at Zeus. And uh, today I'm going to demo the OpenUC toolbar for Outlook 2010. Here I have an installer. Simple install. and it comes up with your user ID in your system. So my user ID happens to be 2008. This is my PIN. Uh, you can use the email domain if you're, uh, if you're set up uh, as you normally would in a company. Your email domain is the same as your SIP domain. Uh, but in my case it is not. So um, uh, I can optionally set it so that uh, when I delete voicemails from Outlook, it deletes it back on the server. Uh, and this is the phone number you use uh, when you're sending out invites to conferences. Alright, so it added to your home ribbon uh, this panel right here. Um, what you see here is uh, it actually loaded my uh, image from Gravatar and uh, the top item here is the status so you can set your status um, through the system now this is a unified status so this is a uh, not only a XMPP status uh, but also the status uh, when you're on the phone so for example if I take my phone off hook there it goes uh, it says I'm on the phone uh, but you have uh, a number of different states and you can set the status message um, to anything you want so that shows I'm in a daily scrum meeting so next we have uh, voicemails uh, voicemails are, are uh, uh, OpenUC is a unified communication system, so when you get a uh, voicemail, uh, you also get an email to your inbox. So here uh, we can actually select that and it shows all the voicemails uh, that you have uh, within Outlook. Okay, so we saw is we actually read that voicemail, and if we check the user portal, Uh, it is shown as uh, red here. If I mark it unread here, it will actually update my user portal. Next we have missed calls. Uh, so this is a list of the calls that, uh, that you did not pick up. Uh, it shows their name and you can click on them to give them a call. You can also optionally uh, drill down to alternate contacts for this person. Uh, here's Dave Grazio's number. Uh, here's John Doe's number. Okay, next we're going to go over the call feature. Here, um, let's say you selected someone, uh, an email from someone that you uh, got an email from, and you can actually call uh, that highlighted person. Uh, doing a reverse lookup on their name. Uh, you can also call uh, just anyone in your list. Call them directly. Um, here you'll see uh, a feature we're working on uh, which is to mark people as favorite. Um, so you can flag them to uh, for quick lookups later. Here we'll, we'll call John Doe. And uh, that's it for call transfer. Uh, similar with transfer, uh, if an incoming call uh, and you ha you happen to have that uh, user, uh, that person highlighted their email, uh, you can transfer to them. Uh, you can also transfer to 
uh, anybody uh, in your list. And you can also transfer to favorites. So we mark John Doe as favorite. Uh, like I said, we're still working on that uh, favorite feature. So with conference, um, you can call directly into your conference bridge. You, are the only um, you can also transfer someone into your bridge who's currently calling you. And you can invite other participants. And you can manage your co your co your uh, conference that's currently in progress. Uh, we're still working on this feature, uh, but here you'll be able to uh, take people who are actively in your conference and uh, interact with their audio. Uh, you can both uh, mute them uh, so they uh, and, and unmute them, and you can also take their audio and uh, isolate them in so that they don't hear you. Or anybody else, or um, or include them back into the conference. You can also disconnect people altogether and invite other people. Again, the same look up as before. Uh, you can look up people by name. So that's conference. Uh, now let's take a look at scheduling. So in your con uh, calendar, you also have a, uh, in your home ribbon, you have two new buttons, uh, new conference call. So let's say uh, uh, November 5th, you want to have a call at 10 o'clock. Create a new conference call. And I'm going to invite Jogan. And what you see in this outgoing email is uh, links to to call the conference uh, so these are um, in a standard format that if you have a soft phone installed it will actually launch that soft phone when you click on these links and connect them right into the conference so I've scheduled a new conference and uh, similarly I can manage an existing conference uh, in progress. Uh, same dialogue we saw before um, where you can interact with the active participants. So um, the last thing is you can actually uh, as you look throughout your, uh, your emails uh, if you hover over someone you'll actually see their current status, IM status. Uh, you, you can email them directly from here, chat with them, and launch an external chat editor, call them, um, and various other uh, operations with this user. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And uh, development on this is, is moving very fast. Uh, and um, we're excited about a lot of the features that uh, we have in it now and a lot of the features that it's going to have. Thanks for watching.